Your beggary is done, Tarpen. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There is no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up down river. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. <laughs> Tarben, what brought you to our Your clan? Reputation. Heard folk say a band of hard-drinking, battle-scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia, taking in whatever floatsome, jetsome, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. And being a baker, I knew my services would not be sniffed at. I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not there to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. Question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting. But to do so would be to deny the essence. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found what calls you. A rare and happy thing. Yes, yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. W what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silver's worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? Is 
that your usual vendor? He seemed a little surprised to see you. Pity? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. your question earlier what would I do if I weren't a warrior I would ask the same of you is baking bread your greatest wish is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread the Romans baked bread the Egyptians baked bread it is a fine trait but is it your calling it is my calling to feed people I'd say to be of service to those I care for and who care for me that brings me joy Put that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. It gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Turban. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. <laughs> 